Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I don't know if any of y'all ever um have uh, ever used that apparatus over there on that, that red. Um, it's supposed to be something that I can use um, for my dog to whelp in as opposed to, um, you know, just getting a box or something. If anybody knows anything about it, it's, a big, it's like a pool, you know. Anyway, thank you for that donation. And even though this that's supposed to go up on the other channel, I had to put it up out there because some of y'all might have used this thing before. It's so big that I can't bring it over here. But that's that's it sitting over there, that red thing. Okay. So that's what I'm aiming to have my uh, dog use, have her puppies in on uh, next month. So um, with that being said, um, you know, it's kind of heavy because I got a heavy heart. Anyway, um, it's been a lot of sad things happening for me in uh, the last few months. And so, uh, I've actually had to bask in it and see what, what's going to come of it. But anyway, I, I, I was reading an article that really, really caught my mind and caught my eye because I don't think enough people is talking about this and, uh, they don't want to for whatever reason. And it's sadly... 2020 has already seen at least 32 transgender and gender non-conforming people shot or killed by other violent means, the majority of which were black and Latinx transgender women. We say at least because too often these stories go unreported or misreported. But since HRC began tracking this data in 2013, advocates have never seen such a high number at this point in the year. These victims, like all of us, are loving partners, parents, family members, friends, and community members. They worked, went to school, and attended houses of worship. They were real people. It's really important that you understand that, okay? Um, people who do not deserve to have their lives taken away from them in this manner. As HRC continues to work towards justice and equality for transgender and gender non-conforming people, we mourn those we have lost in 2020. Dustin Parker, only 25, was fatally shot in McAllister, Oklahoma, early on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, I'm sorry, his employers released a statement shortly after his death, remembering that Parker, remembering Parker as a steadfast friend, an amazing husband and father, and generous to a fault. He loved fiercely, worked tirelessly, and took on life with so much hope and enthusiasm that his presence brightened all our lives. The loose new Lisa Luciano Ruiz was fatally shot in a uh, Toa Baja, Puerto Rico, on February 24th, according to the Metro Rico. Members of her community knew her as humble and noble. These are people, and um, this is insidious. Yampi Mendez Arrocho, 19, was killed in Puerto Rico. Arrocho, a, a transgender man, shared his love for basketball and the NBA, down in the Miami Heat apparel on social media. His biography line on his Facebook simply reads, Humility Prevails. Um, then we got Monica Diamond, 34. She's a black transgender woman who was killed in Charlotte, North Carolina on March 18th. She was active in the um, Charlotte LGBT 
Q nightlife community and was the owner, co-owner of an uh, event promotion company. She also was the co-CEO of the International Mother of the Year pageantry system, a pageant that honors LGBTQ mothers. Lexi, a transgender woman, was killed in a Harlem um, in New York on March 28th. Yes, I'm, I'm giving these people names. I'm giving them names. Because it's real important that, you know, the hate is so, it's so thick that you can cut it with a knife. And there's a lot of people that's not even going to like this commentary. And they got all kinds of personal reasons for why uh, somebody should be dead, which I find so repulsive. Because basically, all we was given, really, all God asked us to do for one another was to love each other. And think about that. I mean, none of these said there was a fight and a fight broke out or it's just that they killed. They're dead. Nobody wants to talk about it. You know, even the media tries to hype you up when you want to talk about black and white issues. They'll always report the police killing black people, but they don't even report. Just like in Kenosha, y'all don't know that it's a white boy that had a gun put up to his head and the police shot him point blank with his hands on the car in his driveway because they thought, thought he had a gun. Okay, that was a white guy. You didn't even hear about that being reported. So I, I know the games the media play and I ain't trying to play it. I'm trying to have some authenticity. Okay. Um. This right here is sick. This Lexi, 33, a transgender woman, was killed in Harlem. According to reports, Lexi was fatally stabbed in Harlem River Park. I really looked up to her because of her tolerance and respect, said a friend of Lexi. Lexi had a beautiful heart. She was very gifted. Brooks also noted that Lexi loved poetry, makeup, and fashion. I mean, y'all don't even understand. Y'all don't even understand that a lot of the creativity that you love and admire and the music that is played so beautifully, you know, <laughs> comes from the same gender loving people. And <sighs> I mean, the list goes on. I'm just going to keep reading them. Joanna Metz, Metzger, a transgender woman, was killed in Baltimore. Um, her love of music, and she could play multiple instruments. Serena Vasquez Ramos, 32, was killed in Puerto Rico on April 21st. She was killed alongside Layla Perez Sanchez. On May 1st, two men were charged under the hate crime for Ramos' death. Uh, and again, the person they were, she was walking with, Layla Perez, was killed too. And they, um, Sanchez has really moved to, to the island and was living in Tasia neighborhood in Las Piedras. Two Puerto Rican men, again, was charged with the crime. Penelope Ramirez. And so a lot of y'all gonna say, yeah, they not tolerating that stuff over there. They, 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 they this is what you're supposed to, so you have the right to kill them? Do y'all think that people having sex with the same people is something really new? I, I mean, I, do you really, really feel that this is new? Because I want to know how psychotic we really are as a nation. I know we put babies in garbage cans. I understand all that. We do that. We, uh, you know, we we molest children. We 
We beat up old people. It's a fly going around here driving me cuckoo. Um, and all God required of us to do was to love one another. I keep thinking about that song Marvin Gaye sing when he said, And all he asked of us is we give each other love. I don't think it go like that. I think it go, And all he asks of us, oh yeah, is we give each other love. Something like that. Don't go and talk, yeah, about my Marvin, thank you. You was a visionary. But these people don't even understand. I mean, this is this is just as I, I can't even believe it. all these trends. There's just a list of them. Nina Pop. She was killed in Sykes in Missouri. Haley Joe J. Reagan. Tony Day. A black transgender man was killed in Tallahassee, Florida. Dominique Remy Fells, a transgender woman, was killed in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. They call him Dom. Her Dom. I am beside myself right now. We need to fight. We need to do more. That's what you know. people say upon hearing about her death. A 25-year-old black transgender woman was killed in Liberty Township, Ohio. Jane Thompson, 33-year-old white transgender woman, was killed in Mesa County, Colorado. Selena Rez Hernandez, 37-year-old transgender woman, was killed in Chicago. Brian Egypt Powers, a 43-year-old black transgender person, was killed in Akron, Ohio. Brayla Stone, 17-year-old black transgender girl was found killed in Little Rock, Arkansas. She was just a child. <sighs> just a child. Hold on one second, y'all. Shall we continue? Wow. 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 Who is this? Rhea Milton, 25-year-old black transgender, killed in Liberty Township, Ohio. She posted the status, never been scared to struggle. I'm going to get it eventually. Mm. Mercy Mack, 22-year-old black, uh, black transgender. I didn't kill him. Be back again, y'all. Um, Shaky Peters, a 32-year-old black transgender, was killed in Amite City, Louisiana. In just four days, we have seen the deaths of at least three transgender, non-conforming people, including Shaky Peters. That's what um. Tori Cooper, the director of community engagement, um, said, Bree Black, 27-year-old transgender woman killed in Pompano Beach, Florida. Summer Taylor, non, a white non-binary person. Marilyn Cazares, transgender, killed in Brawley, California. Dior Ova, who some reports identify as Tiffany Harris, a black transgender. Quiesha Hardy, 22-year-old 22 black transgender. This is sick. These are kids. Based babies. Killed because somebody don't like how they live their life. I mean, did they rape anybody? Did they harm any... <sighs> Asia Spears, who sometimes used the name of Rocky Roan, a black transgender woman killed in Portland, Oregon. 
She studied at the University of Nevada, was the owner and founder of International Barbie, a Portland Blaze clothing brand. Kim Sam, transgender black woman, killed in Lafayette, Louisiana. Arian Burnett, a black transgender woman, was killed in Independence. Mia Green, a 21, 29 year old black transgender woman. Michelle Ramos Vargas, a transgender woman from Puerto Rico in her mid-30s, was killed in uh, Puerto Rico. Felicia Harris, 33, killed in Augusta, Georgia. Brooklyn Deshaun, 20, Deshauna, a black transgender woman killed in Shreveport on October 7th. These victims were killed by acquaintances, partners, or strangers, some of whom have been arrested and charged, while others have been yet to be identified. Some of these cases involve clear and anti-transgender bias. In others, the victim's transgender status may have put them at risk in other ways, such as forcing them to unemployment, poverty, homelessness, and survival sex work. While the details of these cases differ, it is clear that fatal violence disproportionately affects gender of uh, transgender women of color, particularly black transgender women, and that the intersections of race, sexism, homophobia, biphobia, transphobia, and unchecked access to guns conspire to deprive them of unemployment, housing, health care, and other necessities. HRC's foundation dismantling the culture of violence report demonstrates how anti-transgender stigma, denial of opportunity, increased risk factors compound to create a culture of violence. It provides clear ways that each of us can directly make an impact to make our society a safer place for transgender and gender non-conforming people. It is too often the case in the reporting of anti-transgender violence, many of these victims are misgendered in local police stations, uh, and I'm sorry, in local police statements and media reports, which can delay our awareness of deadly incidents as well. So in the pursuit of greater uh, accuracy and respect for the transgender and non-conforming uh, people in both life and death, HRC offers guidelines for journalists and others who report on these communities. Oh, God. oh I'm going to bust your ass. Um, HRC has been tracking reports of fatal anti-transgender violence for the past several years. Previous reports can be found on the years 2019, 18, 17, it is all pathetic. And most of them are black and Latina. Here's my point. Black and brown body. And I just want to say this to black people because, uh, you know, we seem to be the most homophobic out of all the groups. I'm just going to make it plain. You know, I'm not saying that, um, you know, and a lot of times, we have, um, especially more specific, black people, African Americans. Um, those are the ones I've been around, so I can't really say about other countries or in other places. Um, I'm not familiar with their gay community or anything like that. And if they have it, more than likely they're hiding because of this type of retribution. But I do know that. Unix, and I know that earlier in different situations in life where you, I ain't talking about when you, I'm not talking about when you got your uh, genitals was cut off, but in some countries and some cultures in uh, India, I know that um, it's revered. It's 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 um actually um looked upon as a high status to have somebody that is a uh, gay because you realize just who these people are. Who these spirits? Because once you can get past the body and understand that we're spirits, 
having a human experience, but we really spirits. My spirit connect with your spirit or it don't. And if you connect with a spirit real hard, you know, it's really kind of hard to, to, to let go of the, the spiritual connection. You know, especially if you're a black person or a person of, a mel of, 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 you know, that, that's thinking right. Now, of course, there's a lot of obstacles that can come in between that. But as a whole, general, we have to understand that um, being homophobic as a black person and then wanting somebody to have mercy on us and stop people from killing us, it just goes on and on and on and on. The separatism, the racism, the homophobism, all of it, it was all created because if you could just let people be in their own lane. And I find, from my personal experience, most people that are so repulsed by it and are so sickened by it and so uh, advantageous by it, it's almost like that lady, um, Anita Bryant. Come to the Florida sunshine tree. That's where you get a lot of energy. Orange juice and natural vitamin C from the Florida sunshine tree. Y'all don't probably remember that, but a lot of y'all out there old enough, y'all remember it? She went on this whole gay crusade and then look at her. People like Bishop Eddie Long or you know, and people that go out there and publicly denounce themselves. They ain't do nothing wrong because they have a, a a certain fetish. Now, if you're going with kids, now let me make a clarity and disclaimer here. We There's a problem with that. But I don't really think no adult has no business, no business in somebody's private affairs. That's why they call it private. Your private parts that's what's wrong with a lot of y'all. Y'all let so much of y'all private come out that you think you can just do whatever you want to do. All through time, it's been gay people. All through time. Y'all knew little Richard was gay. You didn't stop you from loving him. It didn't. And you know it didn't. Look at James Baldwin. It didn't stop you from loving him, did it? This right here the killing of other black people. What have we, what have we become? Because they gay, because they transgender. And most of the people that say they got fooled, they weren't. A lot of, of people were are told and they know and they go after the unknown. And then they get so disgusted and repulsed with themselves. They do something like that, or they kill the person, or they beat them, or whatever. You don't got to be ashamed of what you like. You really don't. I suggest you keep it private. And I don't think nobody has no right to ask somebody and deal with somebody and talk to somebody about what they do in their private life, unless they want to talk to you about that. That's very ignorant. To me, the only exception to any of this is when you're attracted to children and you're trying to molest children, and that doesn't come in a gay form. Most of the people I know that had sex with children was heterosexual. It was old men having sex with little girls. But nobody want to talk about that. The pedophiles. But they think, well, they straight. But you like little kids. Little girls. Starting them off at four years old in some cases, maybe younger. But you got nerve to talk about people in your community who have sex and that are consenting adults because you don't like what they're doing. That is sad. And, um, yeah.
this homophobia in the black community is it is it's it's sad. This is the worst, um, one of the worst killing articles I've read, and this is a a a, 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 cra- a crisis. Anti uh, uh, transgender violence is what this is. I know a lot of y'all um, are not going to agree with me, and I welcome your comments. Lord knows I do. Leave them below, and I'll see you in the next one.